Hello everyone and welcome, it's your boy Brian here back again. And this time we have video footage, recordings, and all that fun stuff of the ARMS Global Test Punch. It's a play on the, the Global Test Fire that Splatoon had just a little while ago, and this is for a game coming out called ARMS. It's about uh, a bunch of characters who have spring-like arms, as you can tell right here and they battle against each other. So it's like, not Super Smash Bros, but a new thing. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, typically a one-on-one -on -one sort of setting, and you, you play in a bunch of different modes and a bunch of different variations of modes. It's actually really cool. So this is a new IP that's come out for Nintendo. They revealed it in January when the Nintendo Switch was formally announced and it had a release date and all that fun stuff. So this is going to be coming out in just a couple of weeks here. I'm obviously going to be covering it for you guys and uh, it's actually really fun. So here I go through the tutorial and, and figuring it out is actually a little bit weird. So you could use each of the Joy-Cons, the left and right Joy-Con. Uh, you can actually get them in a very special yellow color to uh, celebrate ARMS. Use your regular old Joy-Cons if that makes you happy too. I mean, the Joy-Cons are super expensive at $80, no, 80 or 60 for a pair. I think it might be 60 now. But uh, I am using the Pro Controller because it's just easier to use in my hands. I don't like to do the motion thing because then with the audio capture, it doesn't, doesn't really work right now, even though I'm doing a post-play commentary because this was recorded I think either super early or super late at night, and I didn't feel like talking. So I recorded it at a different time, which is why I'm doing it now. And you can see just how the gameplay works. It's a over-the-shoulder type of view. Uh, you use each of the arms and they extend out. You can angle them different ways to, to hit the player, and that's pretty much it. It's a little bit hard to control at first, and you're going to be able to tell right here because I do a really, really bad job at actually aiming the things. Uh, just just the way that it controls was a little bit hard to, to grab at first. Like, no, actually, every pun intended. Um, you know, you jump around, you, you play, you... Like, I get my butt beat by a slapmander. Slapander. I forget what the name of that actual arm is called. Uh, you can actually customize each of the arms. So that's like the Slapmander. It'll like come up and slap you, just like you can see right there. Uh, the one on my left is a boxing glove, and the right is a tri bolt like hit thing. Um, you can also customize each of the arms to be different, and you unlock them by. Uh, playing the game and earning credits and you can spend the credits or you can save the credits and all that fun stuff So you just power up and and the way that this ends up working. We'll see it in the online matches in just a second uh, It all happens very very quickly So we have 99 seconds here on the match right now Which is a minute and a half and a lot of the time like if you're online It's, it's gonna be a lot quicker than 99 seconds. It's gonna be much, much shorter than that. It could be as early as like 20 seconds, depending if you get your butt kicked that easily. And there we go, we got a KO right there. Mr. Springman and Ribbon Girl fighting off. The Springman wins that one with not so much ease. So now, after it being my first match, obviously I have a handle on the controls a little bit better. Maybe I'll actually do better. And you can see I changed up both of the arms uh, you can have up to three different arms selected before you go into a match. Uh, you can customize them like way afterward though. Can't do that in the global test punch however. Uh, we have this like boomerang type arm on my left here that comes back to me so there's a bit more chance that it'll, it'll actually hit Ribbon Girl. She has like a, a confetti popper thing. It's a little weird. Um, getting used to each of the characters and they, and they each have all special abilities as well. Like, uh, Springman, I believe, can charge when he's going from left to right. Some of them uh, are just a bit different, like Master Mummy, which we'll see in a little while. He actually heals when he's blocking, but he's super heavy. He's a very, very heavyweight character. And there we go. Got that KO, baby. Boom. So, yeah, that match happened a lot quicker than the first match did, and that's just the whole theme 
of arms in itself. So we're gonna jump in. We're gonna use a Min Min. Yeah, Min Min. I, I forgot who I was using for a second. Min Min is by far my favorite of any of the characters that we, we get to play as in this test punch right now. There's gonna be a couple more episodes of me playing the test punch because the game actually comes out much sooner than, like, it was weird. So Splatoon had a global test fire, test punch, 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 if you if you want to call it that. Um, and it was, it, it, it happened, but the game comes out in July. So they had the test fire for Splatoon, then had the one for ARMS, even though ARMS comes out sooner than Splatoon does. Don't know why they decided to do that, but hey, it worked for me. I, I got to play the game, I enjoy playing the game, and obviously I, I, I would have gotten it to, to cover it for you guys anyways, but I would have bought it if it were just me. Like if I was just playing the game and I wasn't like, you know, recording it or doing it for, you know, my job then yeah, I would I would totally buy it, and you'll see my my evolution of skills as we go along here. So this is a three-player match, like, it's things like this I didn't think Nintendo was going to do, where they do these really unique things, and there's a KO right there, and I get my butt kicked right there, boom. Uh, but I can maybe go for a grab, I don't know. Do I end up losing? I don't know. I forget. Uh, but this is a, uh, a three-player match. I just wouldn't expect Nintendo to do something like that. I would more so assume it would just be a one-on-one -on -one thing, but having, like, a three-person match is really, really cool. And it's really... Oh, don't tell me I lose. No. I need one hit. There we go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, baby. Uh, and it's all these different modes that happen, and it's it's just very fast. Like, it's all very action-packed. Like, you could see in the menu, which we're gonna go to in just literally a second here. Man, Min Min's so cool. Um, you'll see when we go to the menu right here. Like, you can see other people in the matches. You can see, you know, what they're playing. You can see how long they've been playing for. So, it's all very quick. Even though the matches themselves are quick, the, the interface is very slick. The loading times are quick. The connection you know, to each player is super, super fast. And here we're playing as Master Mummy, that really heavyweight guy. He's got a giant bomb on one hand, and then it's like a little sparrow on the left side there. Um, Master Mummy isn't my favorite. Again, Min Min is going to be my favorite here, but we'll establish that over the uh, multiple episodes of the Test Punch for sure. Uh, so yeah, Master Mummy heals just a little bit as he goes along here. Um... His uh, 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 punches are very, very slow compared to Ninjara over here. Ninjaro? Ninjago? Yeah, Mr. Ninjago over here. He uh, He's super quick, but Master Mummy definitely is not, and he just grabs me and he, he just goes to town, which uh, that's an issue I, I've seen people have with the game, is that it's just basically you grab him and you grab him and you grab him and grab him. And I can't blame them, because when you do grab someone, you do like 150 damage. So 60, 150 total every single time. So if you can manage to, to grab them constantly, it's like, why wouldn't, you know, why wouldn't you? You know, I try to heal right here, but I am no match. I think I get my butt kicked. Yeah, I definitely lose right here. There we go. So you can just grab me from the other side of the map, and then, you know, KO. Hey, there it is, you know? One thing I wish happened is, like, we just played this mode right here. With this guy, it was only one match. It wasn't, like, best of three. I don't know if that's going to change in the full game. I would like it to if we had each player and it was a best of three match when I'm playing one-on-one. -on -one. You know, when it's one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one, so three people playing, I can understand why you want to keep it moving, you want to keep going, but... When it's one on one, I think it should be a best of three, or you can set it to a best of three, best of five, do things like that. So we can see all the players on the sides over here who are able to be in matches, and then while you're waiting for a match, you can play a, uh, a little warm up game. So that's pretty cool. Always keeps your attention, it always has something going on. You're not waiting in lobbies for a long time. And compared to Mario Kart 8, this is super, super quick. Like, 
Mario Kart 8 has been plagued with so many connection issues. Like, if you've ever watched any videos I do of online matches or battles, you'll see me say, okay, I'll cut to when we get to a match, because it will take upwards of, like, five minutes to, to get into a match. And, you know, that's not a long period of time in, like, the real world, you know, but in video game time, that's a super long time. And especially when you compare it to ARMS, when it happens, like, instantly, you know, you can at least practice when you're out and, you know, waiting for a match, and he just keeps grabbing me. I think, I think this character is known for having the grabs, too. They just, they're just a very grabby character. They have a long, long reach. And Min Min, obviously, isn't a, a character to use. Yeah, he just screams me right there. Boom. Done. Uh, best of one, again. Um, not the best character to use with a, a very heavy arm on the right side. I use the, uh, the big master mummy. I forget what they're called. I haven't memorized the names of the arms yet. No way. But, uh, the dragon's pretty cool because it's a much longer range one. Uh, I feel like this, this bulb I'm using on the left side here is very orientated on short distances, getting a nice clean punch in the very beginning, where if you're really far away, it's too slow and people would just dodge it. But I guess that's the pro and con of having the dragon and then having the, the giant bulb thing. So even though we've been in this, you know, training thing for a little while now, it doesn't feel like I'm just waiting for a match. Like, I'm still engaged. I'm still doing stuff. I'm making progress. Like, I earned some credit. I, I earned a single credit right there, which I don't know how helpful that will be once we unlock the full game, but oh well. Uh, so this is going to be the final match of this episode. The test punch is going to be going on... Uh, a couple more times as of the time of this recording, and then obviously the game itself comes out. I will be playing it and doing post-play commentary footage, because one of them happens at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I am not going to be awake for that. <laughs> or I'm not going to be a functioning internet superstar at that time. I will need to warm up, as they say. And this is a 2-on-2 uh, two -two match. We are tethered together, so one person can't, like, run away like each person is engaged in the match and it's just an all-out brawl just like just just keep slaughtering them just just keep going you know hope for the best you know he has a uh, helix has a couple different arms there uh that we haven't seen yet but it's you you can focus on one player or the other i choose to focus mostly on helix but you can change your focus by pressing up on the d-pad but uh clearly I think uh, we know the winner here. Yeah, definitely, definitely know the winner here. So before the video ends out, thank you for listening and watching. I'll see you when we uh, play more Splatoon. I was going to say Splatoon 2. That's how uh, test fire mode I'm in. But we'll see you when we play more ARMS on the Nintendo Switch. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.